cannot accept and like oneself. Okay? Now, we try to turn this to, neck, to positive, okay? Turn this to positive in order to be healed. Number one, think of God's love is so great. The Bible says what? For high as the heaven is above the earth, so great is His love to those who fear Him. So His love is beyond your imagination. Even when we fail Him, let me tell you, I have failed Jesus many times. I have failed Jesus many times. But He still chose me to experience the Holy Spirit. And when, he, when I experienced the Holy Spirit, my whole life was changed. And I cried for a long time and said, Lord, I thank you for accepting me, for loving me. Because, I, you know, in the past I saw these weaknesses, these sins, and now I see the love of God and I see the experience of love of God, it totally changed me. That I have hope. That gives me hope. I have hope. Let me tell you when I experienced the Holy Spirit, I find there was something blocking in my heart. Something blocking. And then I keep taking care of it. I keep praying and taking care of these people who hurt me. Every day I stay in the love of God and every day I forgive these people and bless them. And then the more and more and then my heart is free. In the past, because of the accusation of people very often, I noticed when I was washing dishes, and when I think about some people, I would feel bad. Has it happened to you? Sometime when you do something simple, and you just feel bad for no reason, for something that happened in the past. That happened to me too, so I understand your feelings, because I have experienced that myself. And then, it's painful. Is it painful? It's painful. It's not worth it. And there is a way. There is a way. So I hope you all say, there is a way. So I want to follow Jesus' way. To be totally free. To be totally free and joyful and full of energy. And I can enjoy the rest of my life. Now, many of us might already have come to the midpoint of our life, right? If the average of 80 years, maybe some of you are already over 40 years old. So these past years, have you been happy all these years? Have you been happy all these years? No. So can we change today? And say, Lord, I want to start to enjoy life right now. No matter how people are, I choose to forgive and bless them and let go so I can start to enjoy life. Can you, can you make up your mind? I will let go. This heart doesn't matter. This heart already gone. When he yelled at us, when he said, you're useless. When we were young, we were teased by people, hurt by people. Does it matter anymore now? No. No. So we let go. So we let go. Okay? Okay, let's look at this again. So accept God's love. And then, number two, appreciate God's forgiveness. His forgiveness is so great. He has forgiven me so many sins. Each one of us have many sins that are very dirty. We cannot tell people about our sins. It's too terrible. I cannot tell you my sins. is too terrible. And I thank God He forgave me. Hallelujah! <laughs> so we choose not to think about it. We choose to let go and hate the sin and not to sin anymore. Now you begin really to laugh now. to it to be able to sing again but I, I just it just came let it go let it go let my heart fly away let my trust 
We can let go. Hallelujah. And then number four, hate and don't forgive the people who hurt us. Then we want to have compassion on them, bless them, pray for them, forgive them, and like them. There must be something good about them. You like them and love them. Love them means you want to bless them. You want to bless them. Can we say that? Yes. I want to bless them. I want to love them. I want to do good things to them. If I see them now, I will smile. I want to give a gift to that person. Now can you say, I want to give a gift to that person. I want to give a gift to that person. Okay. Now, let me finish this and then you ask, okay? So instead of hate, and not forgive, we want to bless and want to give a gift. Now even a small gift. If you have the chance to see the person, give the person a small gift. Now your child, he doesn't obey you. And all, every, every day you say you're not, you're no good. But instead, you give him a little gift and say, I love you, I like you, and you can be better and better. He will feel much better, right? Let me ask you, have someone done it to you? Has someone give you a gift and say, I like you, and you can be better and better. I treasure you, I appreciate you. Have people said that to you? Yes. Uh, some of you have, some of you haven't. So say it to yourself now. I like myself. I appreciate myself. Because of Jesus. I have all the potential. I can become a great person. I'll become greater and greater. I can like myself. I'm happy I'm me. I can live my life in a happy way starting now. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Ha, ha, ha. Okay, <laughs> praise the Lord. And then number six, they continue to accuse people when instead we continue to say good things about them. Now let me ask you, sometimes, okay, enlarge the hurts and the loss, but we will say, God has given it back to me. The hurt doesn't matter, we let go of the hurts. Basically it's let go of the hurts. The hurts is not so large. If I can laugh now and rejoice now, does it matter that I was hurt in the past? Does it matter now? You know, those experiences can raise, a, raise us up to a high level. As I told you, for 10 years after I experienced the Holy Spirit, I experienced much hardship. In those 10 years, the Lord has taught me this joyful victory how to take care of different problems so it can be set free. And I thank God for those hurts because those hurts teach me how to take care of this problem and then I can be set free. Let me tell you, when I first experienced the Holy Spirit, I still had bad dreams. It's gradually, got, I got healed more and more. I have less and less bad dreams and it has been a long time that I haven't had a bad dream. And I thank God for that. 
And I thank God for that. Hallelujah. Amen. So we don't have to enlarge this problem. These problems can go away. We can let go. They are very small now. Are they very small now? Yes, they become smaller and smaller. Amen. It's all in the past. We don't have to hold on to them. Okay? And then number six. Number six. Instead of accusing them, we keep blessing them, praying for them, loving them, saying good things about them. Now, let me ask you. Sometimes we've been hurt by our parents. Our parents have said things that hurt us. But let me ask you. When you count what they have done to hurt us, and then you count what they have done for us, which one is greater? If you count what your parents have done for you, are there many ways that your parents have blessed you? My, my father has gambled a lot and caused a lot of quarrels in the family. But because of him, only because of him, now, first, I inherited this gentle personality. It's actually from him and from my mother. Both have general, a gentle personality. I did not inherit his gambling, thank God. I did not inherit his gambling. But he, because of him, I have the opportunity to go to school. And in Hong Kong, I could finish my high school and then after believing Jesus God moved someone to offer to me that I can go to this country and another country to have education and I had one master, a bachelor degree and two master degree in theology wow. and when I go to Bible college the company where my father worked still sent me money so I thank God for that. If not for him, I would be an orphan. I would have problems. So if I count the good things about him, I have more good things than negative things from him. Is it true for you too? Do you have more good things from the parents? Yes. That when I look at you, you don't look like some Africans in the pictures. You know, sometimes when people show Africans, they show people like this. Oh. No, no flesh. <laughs> but you don't look like that at all. <laughs> you are well fed. Actually, some of you are more than well fed. <laughs> so, at least, yeah, Hong Kong Africans. <laughs> you know, in a, in Hong Kong in the past, the kids were very thin. But now there are many overweight kids. So we thank God, even though our parents sometimes have hurt us, but they have done more good things. So we can say, thank God for our parents. I want to forgive them. I want to bless them. I want to like them. I want to smile at them. I want to give them gifts to make them happy. You know, every time I see my stepmother now, I give her money. Every time I see her, I give her money. And she said, yes, I've been good to her all the time. Even though when I... And then she said, you know, she said to me too that she was sorry that she was so angry. And then I said to her, because the, my father has gambled so much, so it has given you much pressure. So I told her that. I told her that. Because of the family, the pressure in the family. And you still insist on keeping the family. If not for her, now, let me tell you this. This is interesting, paradoxical. My own mother, she's a very soft person, gentle person. My stepmother is a strong woman. If my father keep having my real mother, she would not be able to keep him. You know, my stepmother, what did he do? What did she do? She went to his company and asked the boss to pay her instead of pay the husband. Because she said, every time when he got the salary, he gambled and lost all the money, and we don't have money. Please, now, only I can take the salary. My husband cannot take the salary. My mother would not have done it. And then we would be, I don't know what would happen to us. 
and we will not be able to stay in that company, and that company allow us to have go to school. All these years I received help in scholarship. So I thank God. God gave me good parents, but also gave me a stepmother who keep my father in place. Hallelujah. Amen. So when we count the blessings, when we count the blessings, we'll be very happy. And we say it doesn't matter anymore, right? So when we count the blessings, very important, count the blessings. Okay. Okay, number seven. Cannot accept and like ourselves. But we say, God really likes me. So I can like myself and I'm important. I, I, I can be healed. I can be set free. I have better things planned for me. Let me tell you. Good things will happen to you. Good things will happen to you. Your life will go higher and higher. And you believe every day. If I follow Jesus, good things will happen to me. To this church and to your church and to Liberia. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Okay. Praise the Lord. Yes. Hello. My question is this. What motivated you to accept your stepmother and which assisted your life today? What was your motivation? Because I found out so many people, their mother or their, their mother is no more, mainly here in Africa. Somebody will say, I don't like that woman. It will not be my mom. Before you know it, we lose a lot of things. So can I know what motivated you to stay under your stepmother? You endure it up to how you are today, counting about your successes. Okay. Basically, when I became a Christian, I learned the teaching, forgive those who hurt you, who persecute you. And I just begin to forgive. And uh, actually, for me, it was no struggle. I see the problem in her life. I see that her life has a problem. I see that she's more miserable. I already had this thinking. I didn't, I didn't organize it in the teaching, but I already realized that her life is miserable and so I just forgive. But at the beginning, she was very rough on me. She was still very rough on me because she did. She said to me, if you believe in Jesus, don't get baptized. But I get baptized against her will. I did not listen to her. And because she told me, you know, different things not to do, but then I did not obey. And, and I insist on, uh, following God, but at the same time, I want to break the, help the relationship to be restored. And then what happened was I, before I left Hong Kong to study, I left Hong Kong in, 20, in the age of 23. I, I tried to be nice to her, but the relationship was not strong. And then when I went, left Hong Kong, I sent her letters and I thank her. In the letters, I thank her for taking care of us different things and I sent her money, not much, because I was a student. I sent her money, not much money, and he mentioned this again. You know, just sometimes I just sent her a few dollars, and but she appreciated that. And then she sent me a letter to bless me. And then when I went back to Hong Kong, I visited her, I gave her money, and she liked me more and more. And then in the past, she would not let me mention Jesus. Now she would follow me in a prayer Although I think she might not do it sincerely. She just does it because I'm so nice to her. And I give her money. And that could be the reason that she would not reject you know, my prayer, that she would pray with me. So when we eat together in family, I will have the prayer to bless the food, at the same time ask for forgiveness and blessing for the whole family. And uh, whenever a chance, I, I would lead a prayer. So that's something um, uh, my being nice to her help her to be open to me so that's our Christian testimony 
that because I don't want this to hold me back. And also because I want to go higher and higher, I must let go of all this relationship. And also my father, when I came back to see him, I, I never, you know, I never accused him. I just, I just always be nice to him and give him money and pray for him. He accept my prayer every time, but he did not believe. I'm sorry to say, unless in the last moment, you know, actually shortly before his last moment, I called him and he, he refused. But then, um, because he didn't want to, you know, I asked him to really sincerely believe in Jesus and he refused to believe. But sometimes, something can happen to people. When they die, and then the soul leaves the body, and then they see the evil spirit, at that time, at that moment when they have not gone to hell, there are some people like that. There are many testimonies of people like that. And they saw the demons, and then they feel sorry, and then they ask Jesus to forgive them. Now, there are people like that too. There are many testimonies of that. You look for that, you see that. Now, that's not a guarantee. But there is a faint chance when he was about to die, and then he could, uh, you know, see the demons, and then he repented, and then asked Jesus to forgive him. And then my own mother, I witnessed to her many, many times, and I prayed for her many, many times. But at the, at the beginning, she always say, I don't believe. I just don't want to believe. But in the last three months before she died, she was willing to believe and to be baptized. And, and I pray that she really sincerely believe. You know, because some people said they believe, it could be because of personal reason. But I hope it's real. And then I always say, I want to see her in heaven. And I hope to see more of my family members. So I let go of all this and because I, it doesn't matter. Okay? Now here, now we, Write down some, I'll put someone, erase it, and then we write down how we can be set free. Live, live in God's love and enjoy God's love. You can say, live in and enjoy God's love. Set yeah. free. So how to set free? Live in and enjoy God's love. Number two. Live in, live in, and enjoy God's love. And then number two, count the blessings of God. And number three, like ourselves. Like, that we learn to like ourselves. I'm important. I like myself. I'm happy I'm me. Number four, believe that Jesus has taken our hearts. And number five, believe that Jesus will pay it back to us. Give it back, don't say pay. Number five. Number five, Jesus will give it back. Whatever we lost, he'll give it back. When we follow him, when we follow him. We don't follow him, we don't get it back. But when we follow him, we'll get it back. And number six, have compassion on the people who hurt us and bless them and forgive them. Number seven, go back to the hurts. Repeat it uh, many times. Go back to the hurts many times. To let Jesus heal. and to bless ourselves. Okay, let's go through this. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, thank you very much. Okay, first one, let's read. Live in and enjoy God's love. So every day, that's the key to healing, most important key. Every day, live in His love and enjoy. God is loving me, God is blessing me. Can you do it now? Can you really do it now? And then number two, count the blessings of God. Thank God, all the blessings. You have saved me, you have worked in my heart, you have guided me, you have let me experience the Holy Spirit. You have done all these good things in me. 
And then we enjoy that. We count the blessings. Number three. Like self. Like yourself. Like yourself. So learn to say, I'm precious. The Bible says, love your neighbors as yourself. That means, do you love yourself? Yes, we love ourselves too. So we love ourselves, we treasure ourselves. We are important. And then number four, we together. Believe that Jesus has taken our hearts. So he has taken our hearts. All the hearts will go to him. Number five, believe that Jesus will give it back to us. Jesus will give it back. If we follow him, he'll give it back to us. And number six, have compassion on the people who hurt us, bless them and forgive them. So have compassion on them. They are actually they are more miserable than we are. They are they've been hurt. They are painful in their life. And they still are angry with people. And we want to forgive them and bless them. And then number seven, go back to hearts many times to let Jesus heal and bless ourselves and let go of the hurts. So let Jesus heal us and bless us and let go of the hurts. Let the hurts go away. So when we go back repeatedly, many times, we go back to the hurts in the past many times. The point is, are you willing? Are you willing to let go? Yes. Who will benefit when we let go? Ourselves and the other people too. Everyone get benefit. The one who hurt us get benefit too. They'll be healed also. We'll be healed also. We can bring healing to more people. Okay? Now, do you have any question and then we'll pray for this healing? You have a question or is it already answered? Does anyone have questions? If not, we'll have prayer. Hallelujah. Okay. So stand up and we'll pray. Have you noticed when I sing, the voice is soft and gentle? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now that came from the heart. Now when I learned singing, the teacher told us, to hold the hand to the throat. And when we sing, it's all relaxed. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, Jesus. To learn to relax the throat. And then when you talk, it won't be so harsh. It won't be harsh voice, but gentle voice. Okay, everyone, you stand up and Relax in God. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Now this, I want to say this, this kind of prayer you can do in your church many times. More people in your church will be healed. And a life will be transformed. Now, you, you can do it different way. Basically, let the love of God come to them. Let them help them to let go and go and to forgive and forget and to bless it. people who hurt them and also to be to receive the healing by going to the to the past experiences. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Yeah, Jesus loves me. Yeah.
because you love us, so we have hope. Because you love us, we can be healed. Because you, you love us, we can like ourselves. Hallelujah! <laughs> because you love us, we can become beautiful people. Because you love us, we can go higher and higher and higher. Oh Lord Jesus, you make beautiful people. You make people, you give changes to us that we are changed from burdened people, sad people, angry people, to relaxed people, joyful, peaceful, with love. Oh, yes, Jesus loves me as Jesus. Yeah, Jesus loves me. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. Thank you, Jesus. Now, relax your body. If the Holy Spirit sway you, let it sway you. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Oh. Let your body relax. Oh, we can let go of all the burdens. We can let go of all the hearts. We can light ourselves. Lord will become more and more beautiful and more and more peaceful and loving. We'll become great people. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. We can become great people. We can like ourselves. Thank God, I am me. Thank God, I am me. I can become greater and greater blessing. Great blessings to other people. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We want to count the blessings. Lord Jesus, you save us. You give us eternal life. We give us a new life. You give us hope and peace and joy and no burdens. And you give us grace instead of just the law. If God just give us the law, it will be a lot of burden. But God gives us grace, as well as His wonderful law. Thank you, Jesus. We want to count all the blessings. We can enjoy His peace, and His love, and His help. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All our hearts have gone to you. You have taken our hearts. When people yell at us, it actually went to Jesus. When people beat us, it went to Jesus. When people took our money, actually they did it to Jesus. Oh Jesus, you have taken all our hearts. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. And Jesus will give it back to me. Jesus will make my life go higher and higher. My life will go higher and higher. I'll, I'll become a greater person. Jesus will give it back to me. My life will have more and more blessings. I already have more blessings, even in these few days. I have more joy. I have more peace. I have more love. Hallelujah. All these are very important. Ha, 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 ha. We can go back to our past experiences and think of these people who yell at us and feel the feeling at that time and think about these people. They hurt us but actually their life is miserable. They've been hurt and beaten by people many years. They did not know the grace of God. They only hurt people. And their life is miserable. And they have to stand in front of God. So think of one person that has hurt you. Think of one person that has hurt you. And you say, Lord, his life is more miserable than my life. And I have compassion on him or her. 
and I want to bless him or her. If I have a chance to see him or her, I want to do something great to her. I want to bless her. I want to forgive her. I want to give her good, good gifts. Oh. Now declare together. I want to forgive this person. I want to give this person. Now say the name. I want to forgive this person. The I name. Want I want to give Jonah. I want to forgive who? Say your name. I want to forgive. I want to bless. I want to bless him or her. I want to bless her. I want to bless. I want to bless her. I want to do good things to him or her. I want to pray for him or her. I want to pray for her. I want to smile at him or her. I want to smile at him. Now, go to the you in the past who was crying, who was hurt, who was hurting. Go to that little child. Go to that little child and ask Jesus to come and heal this little child. Ask Jesus to come and heal this little child. Heal this me. Years ago, I was hurt. Oh Jesus, were you there? And you were there. Please come to heal him or her. Comfort his heart. Oh Lord Jesus, comfort him or her. And then you go back to yourself years ago, your little child. And you were crying. And then Jesus came to you. And Jesus said to you, I have a plan to heal you. And then you say to Jesus, I take it. I take it. I take it. Please heal me now. So at this point, you say to Jesus, please heal me. The me years ago, who was hurting badly. All this doesn't matter. Oh, all the hurts doesn't matter. All the hurts can go away. All the hurts I can let go. All the hurts is no more. Hallelujah. And hug him or her and, hug him or her. and say, You're a lovely child. You can be happy again. I will, Jesus will heal you. You become happy again. You can become a great person. Oh, now go back to this time and really imagine this picture. Little child of you crying in a bed or you were lonely and then you and then you say to this child oh you will become a great person you can be free again you can be free again and then you wow and then you say i'm free i can forgive those who hurt me hallelujah i can forgive those who hurt me i can be free i can be free oh hallelujah I can be free, set my spirit free, that I might worship you. Set my spirit free, that I might praise your name. Let all bondage go. That I might worship you. Set my spirit free to worship you. <laughs> Set my spirit free. Set my spirit free. I want to let go. I want to let go. I want to let go. It doesn't matter. I want to let go. I want to be free. I want to be free. I want to let go. Oh, set my 
my spirit free that I might worship you. Hallelujah! Set my spirit free that I might praise your name. Let all bondage go that I might worship you. Set my spirit free to worship you. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Thank you, Jesus, to who set me free, free of, Thank you, Jesus, to who set me free from grace. Oh. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Hallelujah. Now let go of the burdens. And I forgive. I declare I'll forgive. I'll declare I'll let go. I'll let go. bless the person. I'll, bless the person. I'll let go. I'll and I'll minimize the problem. I'll and I'll let go. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Do you feel better? Yes. Hallelujah. I'm feeling good. Yes. <laughs> How many of you feel better? Raise yes. your hand. Be better. So you yeah. do this every day. Yeah. You do this every day. All your hurts will go away. Hallelujah. Uh, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You said you say the one next to you. We can be also free. We can be also free. We can all be laughing, rejoicing. rejoicing. Say, say the one next to you. We can all, all be rejoicing, rejoicing. enjoying God. God. Hallelujah. Now, I hope you all learn to like yourself. Yeah.